What you doing, buddy? Dinged up rims. Wheels that haven't been true since they left the factory. Spokes that are barely holding on by a thread. Rear hub bearings which are just absolutely destroyed. And an 1142 cassette which is kind of giving me problems on the steeps. Good enough reasons to upgrade your wheel set? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, it's Oli from Shredding Bliss here again. Now, I wanted to put together a video about my most recent upgrade, which was my wheel set and my cassette. And I just wanted to take you through that process, what was involved, what made me upgrade in the first place. Okay, so if you look at my current wheels, I'm on the stock rims that came with my Kona process. They're the WTB i29s. They're heavy. The rims are pretty heavy. Now, combine that with my SRAM 11-speed NX cassette. It's a great cassette, but it's pretty darn heavy as well. They're fine wheels, they're nothing special, but I ding them up to hell. I mean, I just totally destroyed them. There's dents in them, there's dings in them, they're totally out of true. Uh, the spokes just keep on coming loose. I, I mean, I don't know what to do. You know, it seems every time I come back from a DH ride, spokes are loose. So for me, it's just meant extra maintenance. You know, I'm constantly worrying about, is my wheel true? What are the spokes doing today? Are they gonna fall apart? How are my bearings do? Safe to say, I haven't been too easy on these rims. Now, I weigh 95 kilos, so I'm definitely not the lightest rider out there. I mean, I ask a lot of a rim, and rightfully so. I mean, I'm a big, heavy guy. I also happen to ride a big, heavy bike. All right, so I started researching. Now, really what I was looking for was a rim that was essentially bomb-proof. Now, the second part was actually, I was looking to reduce a little bit of that weight really where it matters. Now, I'm by no means a weight weenie. I mean, I'm probably the furthest guy from a weight weenie. But I've come to understand that when you can take away that sort of bad weight from places where you don't want it to be, in this case, by bad weight, I actually mean extra weight that you don't want on your wheels. Because then you're talking about rotational weight. And that has a huge effect on how you ride and how the bike rides and how the, the rims feel. At the end of the day, I did a ton of homework and I actually found that the Mavic D-Max Pros were just exactly what I was looking for. Now, it certainly doesn't hurt that they're drop-dead gorgeous. I mean, oh my God, look at these Mavics. Just the the one yellow spoke on them, the, the bright yellow hubs. I mean, the hub sound doesn't, doesn't sound too bad either. And I mean, the first time I picked them up, I could have sworn it was a carbon rim. They're just, they're just fantastic. The, these are top of the line. These are, these are bomb proof and that's what I needed. All right, so the rim side of things was actually pretty easy. I found the Mavics and they, they just suited exactly what I needed based on my riding style. Now, let's talk a little bit about the cassette. As I mentioned, I've been running the SRAM NX 11 speed cassette. The NX cassette is actually a really good cassette. Now, mind you, it's heavy, but I mean, it's solid. Shifting is crisp. I mean, it's never let me down. The only problem that I've had with it from the beginning is that the range, the tooth range on the cassette is an 11 to 42. I've been on a couple of trips abroad and I've hit a bunch of steep stuff and there's just been a couple of occasions where I've just wanted this much more to the cassette. Now I've basically decided that I don't need 50 teeth, that I don't need the Eagle, that that's really not what I want, it's not what I need. So I really wanted to look at things from a different angle here. Just like the rims, I did a lot of research and actually found the TRS Plus cassette is an 11 speed and it's a 9 to 46 cassette. So I don't really care about the nine. I mean, that just basically means I can spin a little bit harder. But what I was interested is in the jump from the 42 to the 46, because I really think that's actually gonna help me where it matters. I know my riding style. I mean, I won't have to absolutely kill myself on a few steep climbs. So the E13 really fit the bill. I mentioned I wasn't a weight weenie, but the E13 TRS Plus cassette was actually 200 grams lighter than my SRAM 11 speed NX. That's crazy, 200 grams. And again, we're putting those grams in places where it really matters. So for me, I mean, it was a total no brainer. The E13 cassettes and that, that 46 tooth range combined with these bomb proof Mavic D-Max Pros was just exactly what I wanted. It was exactly what I needed. It fits my riding style and Overall, I think it was just most beneficial for me. All right, so enough of me blabbering on. Check out these bad boys.
All right, guys, so let's just do a quick recap. Bomb proof, weight savings, and it doesn't hurt that they look pretty damn awesome and sound awesome. And the E13 cassette was just, like I said, total no brainer for me. 46 teeth, in my opinion, is all you need. Well, at least all I need. So for all you Eagle boys out there, don't be a hater. That, that's just my opinion. Now I'm gonna throw the question over to you guys. What do you guys think about this upgrade? Have you done any similar upgrades yourselves? Leave a comment below, tell me what you think. And of course, if you guys wanna see more content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you guys know what to do in the meantime, keep on treading. <laughs>